Hello, everybody. My name is OptiGamer60, and welcome back to Let's Play Spore. Okay, so obviously a lot, a lot of change happened. So basically, to make a long story short, if you see on the mini map right here, a lot more cities were founded, and all of them like me, except for that nation, that nation, and that nation. They just really didn't care about me. But everyone else loves me. Yay! Okay. So, yay, increased income. Okay. So, anyway, I designed a profitable city. Profitable city full of swag. Also, the Purple Nation. Yay! We established a trade route with them. Since they're an economic nation. Look at how close we are to buying their city. So close. So, anyway. Here's my plan. We just make a bunch of score bucks and then try to ally with everyone. Eventually, if we're allied with everyone, we should. Oh, yeah. I kind of tried to take their nation by force. Did I mention I'm not good at making decisions? Because, yeah. Making decisions. Just asking. I need friends. Friends are something I don't have. So I say, oh hey, I think a new nation is out. Oh well. Whatever. But is be friends with everybody. Okay, so like last time I played this game, I had like so many I had like allied with everyone and I didn't even have to use the fi the fanatical uprising. Except, well, the last time I did it I was an economic nation. So, I mean, it was, it was a bit easier, you know, because of trade routes and stuff. Oh, hey, we can, uh, we can give them more stuff now. Soon, very soon. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Well, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of stuff in the off time. It's like, this is really fun to play. Maybe not so much to watch. I don't know. The point I'm trying to make here is there are a lot, a lot of cities, and I just wait for all the other cities to blow each other up. Oh no, Mrs. Jorska is finished with me to give her. I don't know. No, I think we're so close. We're so close to being friends with these guys. No. They're getting wrecked. Or no way. No, the purple nation has a trade like that. Or, wait. Communication panel. Uh, any nation gain more than a single city will appear on your communication. Okie dokie, though. Oh, crap, crap, crap. And, uh, sharp and claw mesh? Problem. <laughs> we got them offering gifts. This is going to be difficult. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked them. Yeah, increase income! <laughs> Huggy dug that. So I say we try to ally with these guys as one of our main priorities. Because they have more than one city, and usually the first city to gain more than one city is basically what you fuck up, that's what I'm trying to say. Your people are descended from limbless space slugs. 
I actually don't think that's an insult because looking at these things, I'd say they were true. Uh, Who's 4,000 score bucks? Yeah. Come on, bring gifts. 4,000 score bucks. These guys kind of like us now. Alright. This is gonna take a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. How close are we to buying this city? Wait a minute. I thought we had a trade route established. Hey, buddies. Requires more trip. Okay, wait a minute, Crunchy. Still like Alright, no, we don't. Come on, Vern Gifts. 4,000 spark bucks. Be my friend! I am giving you all the money I have in $4,000 increments. But still, be my friend! Please! I'm a very antisocial dork. Yay! Celebrating! We're celebrating the fact that we have no friends! Yay! <laughs> but no, in actuality, I actually have a thousand great friends. Yeah. Not great friends. That still doesn't stop the fact that I have a lot of jerks in my life that don't like me. And by jerks, I mean a lot, a lot, a lot of jerks. Yay, yeah, here we come over and gifts. 4,000 spore bucks. We contact you again. Can't you see how... Can't you see how much we're trying to suck up to you? Oh, we're so close. Be my friend. I will not end this episode until you are my friend. You will be my friend! Be my friend! You're going to be my friend, and you're going to enjoy being my friend, because if you do not enjoy being my friend, I will murder your entire... No, 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 no. The verb are peaceful species. Except, you know, these guys are, are, are a military nation. Which means they try to murder a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think this argument was going anywhere. So you guys just go watch me grow a bunch of stuff and a bunch of other people. And we're not actually going to be doing the space stage because trust me, the, the space stage lasts a long time. And by a long time, I need a long, 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 long time. And basically. Okay, so to make up for my horrible lack of stuff to do, I'm gonna tell you guys some some comedy that I wrote. So I, I wrote a comedy skit about um, Hershey Park. Okay, so anyway, I went to Hershey Park, you know, a few months ago. You know, and like I always hear all these people complaining about the high prices at Disneyland and Disney World. Well, anyway. All I'm going to say is that after going to Hershey Park, Disneyland, by comparison, Disneyland looks like a charity organization. I mean, 15 bucks for a t-shirt. Okay, I mean, that might not be that much, but I mean, they charge you 8 bucks for a Slurpee or a Slushy or whatever the frick you want to call it. Depends on what gas station you go to to buy it. So, the point I'm trying to make here... Is the people, frankly, just charge way too much for stuff. I mean, and the whole concept of Hershey Park just seems stupid. I mean, yeah, you are my friend now. So anyway, yeah, we've allied with the Orange Nation. So anyway, the point I'm trying to make here, it seems like so many people just, okay, what just happened? So anyway, like, so many, okay, like, like, was someone just one day just looking at a chocolate bar being like, I can make a theme park out of this. 
and then Hershey Park was born. And I haven't found any rides that are based off of chocolate. Well, I mean, except maybe the Chocolate Factory Tour, and that's not even the real Chocolate Factory. They don't want you knowing their secret ingredients and recipes. No, no, the rich ingredients just like the rest of America. But that's what makes America great, right? America is the greatest country in the world because because a lot of things because hamburgers, because hamburgers and steak and hot dogs and deep fried Snickers wrapped in bacon. Cause America, America is the best country in the world. And maybe I I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. No. No, the Burb Nation. The Burb Nation is the greatest country in the whole friggin' world because we're gonna do a lot of stuff. And point is, the Orange Nation should be a great ally. And I guarantee you. Okay, so, um, anyway, uh, yeah. So, uh, I was thinking of playing Five Nights at Freddy's on this channel. Yeah, I'll play games other than this, but uh, yeah, <gasps> I designed that house. But anyway, like, like if there are any like games that you guys really just want me to play, like, like go ahead, just just tell me in in the comments section. I mean, like, I could probably say that like every single time I end an episode. Yeah, I'm pr I'm pretty sure I do. The point I'm always trying to make here is that yeah, we're freaking celebrating being the best freaking country in the world. So anyway, oh no, what's going on? Okay, so anyway. Okay, so anyway. I'm planning on trying to do a Five Nights at Freddy's playthrough, or more specifically, Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Because, I mean, I already got three stars on Five Nights 1 and 2. And I got the good ending and bad ending on Final Fantasy 3, so I just have to beat Nightmare Mode and Aggressive Nightmare Mode. Which I guarantee you I will not do, because I suck at video games. So... What I'm trying to say... Is that I would play Five Nights at Freddy's 3, except I can't figure out how to get my recording equipment to record the Five Nights at Freddy's thing. Because, like, like, what you're seeing right now in Spore... It's actually running in a window. Yeah. Yeah, Spore is actually running um, in a window right now. Yeah, totally. I mean, yeah, it definitely is. And that's the only reason why I'm able to record it. Now, since Five Nights at Freddy's doesn't really have an options feature and hitting the escape button just closes the game, like, like, if you guys know any way I could, you know, you know, yeah, if you guys know any way of how I could... That sounds bad. So anyway, if you guys know any way of, like, how I could... Of, like, how I could record finance phrase, that would actually, um... Mean a lot to me, because, uh... Because I would actually know how to do stuff, and maybe I could actually give you guys a good video. Like, you never got my recording program to work. And the feedback doesn't feel like garbage. Anyway, we're almost out of time. But I will end this episode on a positive note. <laughs> and we exactly will be right. friends. Yes. Yes, Hello, yes we are now friends with this guy. <laughs> Swag. Yeah, we are now allied with the Blue Nation. You are now allied with everyone on the continent. Which is only two other people. Okay. So anyway, uh, perhaps maybe I should ally with these guys. Just, you know, saying a little. Maybe. Okay, I don't know who to ally with right now. It appear to seem, they seem to be in a friggin' epic war. So we'll go ahead and see who the victor is. And then I'll try to befriend them. Anyway, guys, I say that is it for this video. Yeah, celebrate being the best freaking country in the world. Swag. The Burb City. Best nation in the world. What the Blue Nation has captured. Yeah, I knew allying with the Blue Nation would be a freaking good idea. 
Anyway, guys, until the next episode. And uh, yeah, guys. <laughs> I say, until next time, everybody. My name is Altergamer63, and I will see you next time. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully I'll see you next time. So yeah, we're gonna end it on an even more positive note with Spore Crash, okay? <laughs> Alright. Goodbye everybody. I will see you next time. <laughs>